This is a bit of an odd request, but quite happy to fill in some gaps. Uh, Johnny Day was asking about opening a salon in the Philippines um, for a bit of advice. The first thing I would say, you're going to need somebody who is a Filipino um, because you're going to struggle to form a business as a foreigner. Um, it's just the protective environment that the Philippines exists in. Um, trying to stop foreigners opening businesses there uh, because obviously if anybody could do it a lot of the bad services that exist in the Philippines would be wiped out overnight by other companies coming in so in that sense that's your first step is actually finding somebody you can work with if you're getting married to a Filipina then obviously you've got your partner to work with the next thing is it's more a profit on numbers rather than an individual salon. Getting a haircut in the Philippines costs as little as 30 pesos. A good salon is still not going to be expensive. I know a lot of the staff are paid about 2,000 pesos a month. Uh, is it 2,000 a month or 2,000 a week? 2,000 pesos a week. Um, so you've got to bear in mind that the profit level is not from one salon but many. If you look for David's salons, uh, he he's cracked it. Um, his his daughter is actually a friend of <laughs> uh, one of my friends here in Spain. Um, they went to school together. Uh, but the the point being is he's took it to a whole new level. You know, if you look at how his business model works, that would be something I would aim to do. I don't know how many salons he's got, but I would estimate probably 200. Um, he's been very successful in the Philippines relating to salons and hairdressing. Um, another avenue you may not have thought about is the fact that there is jobs in the Middle East. Um, so things like nail technicians, beauticians, and all that sort of stuff, there is a market for training people. Um, so you could look at getting yourself certification as an approved trainer and an approved school for the US or whatever and you could actually push that as a main selling point because there's more money in training people than you'll probably make cutting hair. Um, that's the reality of it. I can't, can't be any more blunt than that but the, the reality is unless you're going to open a hundred stores you're not going to make a lot of money you're going to find it quite labor intensive you're going to find that you have all the employment issues that the Philippines has and a high turnover of staff you're going to have the problems where um, staff will do stuff freelance and actually take some of your customers away from you there's all these headaches that exist with doing business in the Philippines and many other parts of the world but I will say that even people doing barbecue stations where they're just selling meat on a barbecue they've had people work with them save enough money then open a barbecue station literally sat next to the guy that trained them and everything else that's how blatant some people can be on the old competition um, so I would say have a look around, decide if it's the best venture for you. If you're doing it for money, it's probably not going to be a good idea. If you're doing it for something to do, then yeah, that'd be a good idea. If you're doing it for, like I said, the training, education stuff, there is money in that. Um, but because the the cost of a haircut and everything else is so cheap, is quite simply a volume exercise. You've just got to have lots and lots of stores and understand that it's not mainly the hair that you're trying to push you want to get the hair there but then you want to sell all your own products you want you know the shampoo you know how your own business runs <laughs> i don't have to tell you um but then you've got the issues that um are you importing or are you trying to use the local produce if you're using local produce i may even suggest doing things like your own version of um oil you know uh, for hair oil and stuff like that um, because obviously you've got the coconuts and stuff there's a lot of local produced fruit etc that could be ingredients in forming 
perf, per, uh, not perfumes, um, hair products, skin products, etc., etc. Um, I would look at that avenue for your own branding. Um, yeah, I think that's. That, I think that's all I can offer on that because it's. it's I'm not from that industry, but from seeing the way David Salon set up and knowing hairdressers and, and knowing uh, barbers, the best money is normally made freelance um, because they're not paying tax, they don't have premises, etc., etc. Um, so it does make it a bit harder to do, but maybe being in a shopping mall will increase your revenue. But it also depends on how you work it. Because if you're married to a Filipina, it's very different to being somebody that is just in the Philippines. It's all to do with work permits and all, a whole array of things that affect 90% of businesses. 99% uh, of businesses even um, for foreigners. So be aware of that. Thanks for watching.